Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about piñata apples. These apples were created by researchers in Germany in the 1970s. They are unusual in the sense that their parentage involves three different types of apples. Normally, apples are bred between two different types. Somehow they manage to blend three different types of apples to yield a piñata apple. They were released for sale in 1986 and sold commercially in Europe until 2004 when the growing rights were purchased by Stemelt growers in Washington State. So in 2010, the company released the apples to the American market and like a lot of apples, the piñata apples are grown exclusively in Washington State. Regarding their characteristics, piñata apples are medium to large with kind of an orange glow with red stripes over a yellow background. The skin is thin and the flesh is white, fine-grained, crisp, and juicy. They have a unique flavor that's described as a classic apple flavor with tropical notes of a blend of banana, pineapple, honey, and even coconut. So they have a sweet tart flavor that's comparable to that of a Fuji apple, Braeburn, or even a Gala apple. And very importantly, they do not turn brown quickly. So that's a real good point about piñata apples. Regarding best uses for piñata apples, they're mostly eaten raw considering they have a delicious sweet tart flavor that most apple connoisseurs would enjoy. Since they don't turn brown quickly, like most apples, they're excellent served as a snack or cut up into salads or used on appetizer or cheese trays where you might have to cut things up a little bit early. They're exceptional when paired with cheese or in a savory salad. Piñata apples hold up well when they're baked or cooked and the crisp texture and sweet tart flavor makes them an excellent pie apple as well. And they do work good in savory dishes like stuffed pork tenderloin. So I hope that gives you some ideas on what to do with piñata apples if you find them in your local market. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.